today YouTube Parker here this is my 2010 DRZ 400 Supermoto um, as you can see I've got it um, it's currently not road um, roadworthy I've got the tags uh, turn signals um, pretty much the headlight all the all the stuff the kickstand the stuff you don't need the horn and and bits like that uh, I'm going up to Port Macquarie this weekend to the Supermoto car track um, and going to give her a bit of a run Saturday and Sunday and hopefully do pretty good up there but I'll do a walk around for you and then I'll um, now start her up. I've got the, um, the E model exhaust off a 2010 model. The only thing that I found mounting the E model exhaust up that didn't fit, um, as you can see it's fairly snug but it was um, this passenger peg bolt didn't exactly line up um, as you can see with where the um, passenger peg would have been it would have had to have been, been up there but um, it doesn't really need that as it's held there and at the header so it's pretty pretty solid still um, and the header pipe itself for the E was a bit bigger than the, the original one on the SM so I was pretty happy with that um, as you can see I've got my homemade peg sliders just made them out of skateboard wheels. All you gotta do is basically get a skateboard wheel, leave the bearing in there, and a washer, and bolt it up. Um, I used a blowtorch and heated my um, my peg up before I put the skateboard wheel on there. That way I could um, just bolt it down. It would melt it up to there. You can't really see, but it is melted. Might be able to see a bit better on this one, but yeah. I mean, they don't look that beautiful, but for free, they're not, not that expensive, I guess. So that's my catch kit. Uh, just got my carburetor hoses running to you. All that is is an ice block um, from Kmart. It was like $2.50, I think. So it's starting, starting to rain. Yeah, I'll give you a starter up here for you. Yeah. 